Dana Reeves' sudden passing has left her family, friends, and millions of Americans with one big question. How could her health have deteriorated so quickly? Jerry Pinacoli has the search for answers. As the news of Dana Reeves' shocking death reverberates around the world, her celebrity friends are still reeling. I don't think words, any words can comfort at this time. What I loved about Dana was sort of her regularness. You know, she really was just a girlfriend and a mom and who, a woman who was just sort of coping to get through life as it was dealt to her. But perhaps the Sopranos' Edie Falco, a cancer survivor herself, says what's on a lot of our minds. Well, I didn't know um, that she wouldn't get better, so I was uh, very upset. That's the question today. What went wrong? Less than two months ago, Dana was singing her heart out. And four months ago, she was looking and admittedly feeling great. I've been responding so well to treatment, and, you know, the tumor is shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. Dr. Mitchell Gaynor, author of Nurture Nature, Nurture Health, did not treat Dana, but has several theories of what could have happened. Whether the medication stopped working or whether she had a side effect uh, to the chemotherapy or whether there was an infection or whether the cancer just progressed, any of those are likely scenarios. Another question is, who will care for Will, Chris and Dana's 13-year-old? Howard Jonas worked with the Reeves on their last joint project, an animated film, Everybody's Hero, that Chris directed and Dana acted in, playing the mom. Herman, what are you doing? Jonas says Chris's son and daughter from a previous relationship are moving in with Will to care for him. I mean, he has no mother, no father, but, you know, it's, I mean, it's a tight family. Dana's dear friend, Michael Manganello, who's also vice president of the Christopher Reeve Foundation, was one of those with her in the end. He told Diane Sawyer this morning on Good Morning America what the final moments were like. We all sort of held hands and we were all there with her and, uh, and, and, and it was surprisingly peaceful. Dana Reeve, only 44 years old, taken from her son and the world all too soon. For now, funeral arrangements for Dana are being kept private. The foundation she formed in memory of Christopher Reeve lives on. For more information, go to extratv.com.